Hey guys, welcome back to Reaction Hacks, where today we're checking out the people having the worst days of their life. Starting off with this guy right here, who decided to get a brand new license plate, and yeah, his license plate reads, 8 dicks, 24-7. <laughs> it's sad, but true. This is coming from Shay Cole, and she tweeted, me and my man live an hour apart, and I just tried to pop up on him, and he just tried to pop up on me. So now we're at each other's house looking stupid. So that means she traveled an hour and he traveled an hour to surprise each other. And it turns out that neither of them are now home. Now, this is a 2000 IQ play. But what if the guy was never actually going to her house, but instead what he was doing was cheating on her and he let her know that he was also at her house. And that's why there's a little bit of confusion. It's possible. Might be a thing. You never know. Facebook reminders are sometimes the worst thing possible, except for like when I go live on Facebook at fb.gg slash Jobless Garrett, Facebook gaming. That's where I stream Jobless Garrett. Look, look it up. I stream there every day. Anyways, this guy got a notification, which by the way, his name's Gary. My name's sort of like also Gary. Anyways, zero friends wished you a happy birthday. Zero. I'm sorry. As a fellow Gary, which I'm, less, I'm like sort of not really a real Gary. I'm like a knockoff Gary. I wish you a happy birthday, okay, dude? I'm sorry that no one wished you a happy birthday. I love you, dude. America's a little crazy. And a little crazy is sort of an understatement lately. But as you guys can see from this picture, someone legit stole this guy's porch. Yeah. Someone went out of their way while he was sleeping and stole this guy's porch. That is absolutely mind-blowing that somebody went out of their way and stole a porch. Why? I have no idea. This guy was on his laptop in his bedroom, and next thing you know, a bird flew in, pooped on his laptop, as you can see from the top left corner, and then died. I don't know if this was like his ex-girlfriend sending him a message, but um, it's clearly a sign that somebody hates you, dude. If a bird flies into your house, poops on you, then dies in front of you, that has to be a sign for something, right? That, that, that just doesn't that just doesn't normally happen. This is a Star Wars disappointment post. Your Sith name is your first name spelled backwards. So you put Darth in front of it. So my name would be Darth Tarag. That's pretty cool. But this guy didn't have that good of luck. This guy's name backwards. Suna is backwards. Anus. Darth Anus. <laughs> wow, that's awkward. Let me know what your Star Wars name is down in the comment section. I hope it's not as bad as this guy. I'm not exactly sure what's happening here, but apparently this is what hail does to a moonroof in a car. Which, by the way, I feel like this would be very scary to happen. Why does this happen to this car? Could that happen to all cars? Oh, shoot. Looks pretty cool, though. I'm not going to lie. I sort of like it. As you guys know, during weddings and before weddings, you take photos for the big day. This is a bride-to-be with her soon-to-be husband. And honestly, they look super happy. Like, they look like this is the best time of their life. And honestly, things are going great until he starts twirling her. And, well, her wig just yeets, her, yeets off her head. Like, literally just flies off. And the best part about it is the husband loves it, and so does she. And that's how you know that this is true love. It's actually pretty beautiful. You ever look in your backyard to realize, oh my God, it rained a lot? Yeah, this is someone's house and that's rain. I don't even, what is this, a hurricane? How does it, like, that's, that's more than just it rained too much. This is like, hey, our house is underwater. Like, that, they have to put towels down because water's coming into the windows. If any of those windows break, it's game over. Their house is literally just a big pool. As you can see, this is a pretty decently looking guy. Now, he's got this weird thing going on with his face where he's like, yeah, I'm cool. And his hair is like really nice, way nicer than any hair I've ever had. But honestly, he went to go dye his hair and he realized really quickly that he's allergic to hair dye. This is what happened to him. <sighs> he sort of... <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, this... Uh... <laughs> I listen, I shouldn't be laughing, but I guess he's never dying his hair again because holy his head got so swollen. Have you ever decided to go to an adoption center and adopt a cute kitten? As you can see from this picture, this is exactly what this girl did. 
but things didn't go as planned. Upon picking the kitten up from the adoption center, this girl ended up getting, well, sort of dumped on. Yep, a cat literally took a dump on this girl's shirt, and that's the best thing ever. <laughs> Because this cat was like, ah, oh, you know, I know a great way where we can become real good friends. <laughs> Diary on her shirt. <laughs> yes, I love this cat. Keep up the great work, kitty. Keep up the great work. This is just a sad photo. When you first look at this, you're like, wow, is this even real? Yeah, this is actually real. A brand new skeleton was recently found, and this guy was running from a volcano eruption when a 30 kilogram boulder came rushing down from the top of the volcano, hitting him in the face absolutely destroying him can you imagine being this guy where you're like i'm gonna get away boom you get hit with the boulder this is exactly why you don't wear jeans with holes in them on a sunny day this girl's legs were completely protected by the sun except where the holes were and as you can see well she sort of got burned and honestly this is something that would happen to my girlfriend let's just be real she's super white as you guys can see this is her yes she's very white now these aren't her legs but these could be very well like i you know what this would actually be a very funny experiment we might actually have to do this but don't tell her as you guys can see this guy sort of has an issue and honestly he's gonna be a little late for work do you guys think his excuse is gonna hold up hey i couldn't get my car off the snow no literally his car is just stuck on snow like he can't move his car from this iceberg whatever this is i'm a little confused to be honest but it's pretty great. One thing I don't recommend you doing is getting on a motorcycle without a face mask. Because as you guys can see from this guy's face, he has about a thousand bugs on his face, which is absolutely disgusting. Not only is it disgusting, but it probably really, really hurt. So the fact that this even happened is a little scary. He should have known better. Just saying. It can't be his first time ever riding a motorcycle, right? It's honestly pretty gross. I recently saw a post on TikTok that pretty much said like, hey, what are some crazy ways you can get back at your significant other once you break up? And some of them included crazy ideas like stealing couch cushions, taking like the shower curtains, like really petty things that you wouldn't even think of. Or like stealing one shoe of your of your significant other's favorite shoes. Just like make them really upset, right? Like things are like really hard to replace or like unscrewing the kitchen's refrigerator light bulb random things included on that list was stealing a toilet and that's exactly what someone did here they broke up with their boyfriend and then the boyfriend stole their toilet which is absolutely insane i don't even what would you even do with an extra toilet is this just because you're absolutely petty 9000 is that what this is because that's what it feels like but nevertheless of course if you enjoyed today's video be sure to drop a like click here to go watch the next video i'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new one